last time was the Arch of Constantine in Rome, which is this right here. Have you seen it before? Yes! So what we're trying to do is instead of creating the Arch of Constantine, we're creating the Arch of Pietro, or the Arch of Gaia, or the Arch of Saham. Yes. Okay? Your own arch. So we're going to start by creating the arch. So, what was the first step of creating an arch? Can we do it? Yes. Okay. That is not easier. Okay, so Pietro has created a two-dimensional rectangle on the ground. What was the next step? This is only a two-dimensional shape. Angela. That's right. We need to use the, the tool here, which is called the push pull tool. Okay, just like pulling something up ice cream. Do you want to do it on the smartboard for us? Okay. Yeah. There we go. Thank you very much. So there we go. We've got our three-dimensional rectangle. The next thing we did, I'm going to change my view, so I'm just looking at the front. I'm using this tool to do that. What was the next step in building our arch? Who remembers? Cole, come on up. Start at the top and go down. There's one. Yeah. You want to do the other two as well? Okay. Great. There you go. Good. And now we have to do something else. So we've got doors drawn on the front. But they don't go the whole way through. What do we need to do now? Okay, let's see. Remember, Victoria, come on up. Uh -oh. Are you pulling it the right way? Let's check if it works. Can we see the whole way through? We did. Fantastic. Oh, we're going to go back to the push pull tool. Yep, fantastic. And the last one. Beautiful. Thank you, Victoria. So now we have our arches, and we can see the whole way through the back. Let's look at the other side of the arch. The holes go through the whole way. Leo, you want to try? Everyone watch Leo. We use the pencil, and we make three parts. Yep. So he's going to start by pulling along the red, red axis. Now down the blue. Perfect. There like that. We can just see it's one piece there. Does anyone remember the tool we use to make this go around the whole top to create the crown on the building? What do we do? Let's see if Lorenzo remembers. What's the name of the tool? The yep, the follow me tool. Okay. There we go, that one's perfect. Fantastic. Look at that. And let's have a look. Beautiful. So we have our arch with a chart on Here's what we're going to do today, something new. And because you guys experimented at home with this program, I want to see how many of you already know how to do it. How do I paint my building? Can anyone guess? So Federico has clicked the paint bucket. You choose. I just want it to look like stone. Look at that. Beautiful. So now my arch is starting to look more like a real building. Everyone's building looks very similar to this right now, but here are some other things we can do to make it more interesting. We can put columns. If I use the circle tool and draw a circle here, I can use the push pull tool to put a column on my building. I can, so this is a column. See? I can pull the, the top out. Okay, and I can make more arches on top. Watch. If I pull this up, I can draw more arches here. And push these through. Other things I can do. I can draw something on the roof. Let me ask you something. How many of you would like to have your very own swimming pool on the top of your arch? Yeah. Okay? You can do anything you want today to your arch to make it 
personalize, as beautiful as you want, okay? So here's my arch. I want you to personalize your arch. Instead of being the arch of Constantine, it's going to be the arch of Nicole. Yes, the arch. The arch of Pietro. Can I make it Angelica's arch. And Charlotte's arch. I'm going to... You okay?